What's your best fire me? IF KING DARE YOU MOMENT FROM WORK Worked at a cancer non-profit. Hired a lady who knew about us because her kid had cancer. Boss wanted me to fire her because she had to come in late or leave early to take her kid to chemo. I refused. Boss said she'd fire me if I didn't. I told her she could go right ahead. Our CEO said no way. Not me but my dad. So he was delivering catering to an office one day and the receptionist obviously f would up. She was yelling at him in front of her bosses saying that he was too late, on time with proof, and that the order was wrong when it wasn't. She was making such a big issue of it and then said she was going to report him to his manager and get him fired. So my dad said see if I care and gave her the number. She called and my dad picked up because he is not the manager but the owner. Everyone in that room was laughing at her. Sorry for formatting on mobile. Put in my 2 weeks notice at wildly understaffed job. 6 days later got sick. I call around and see if anyone can take my shift. No one is available. Tried to call out that morning. Shitty manager tries to persuade me to come in even though I am buffing everywhere. I non-committally agree to call in later in the day to see if I am feeling up to coming in anyway. Call back. Say I am still sick and will not be coming in. Manager blows up at me in front of customers. Being rude as fuck. Eventually asks what I expect to do about the shift needing to be covered. I say I have done everything I am required to and it sounds like a management problem to me. Hang up and turn my phone off. Aircraft technician here working on an air ambulance on a very small island in the middle of nowhere. We used to be too lame. Licensed aircraft maintenance engineer. On this position cause we work 15 days 24 hours schedule but a new company bought our old one and the other guy left for a position closer home and after 6 months. They haven't been able to fill the position and have to send a guy 15 days each month. Paying flights and hotel at costs 100-200 a per day cause this is a very expensive and popular holiday place. I'm from this island and after lots of years out of home I'm happy to be back. They want to lower my salary 30% or get fired cause I get nearly twice what they used to pay. Told me to accept or they will put another guy on my position. Yeah good luck finding too lame that want to live here when you haven't find one. Owner of the company was avoiding the meeting where I get my raise. I waited over two weeks. Finally told my supervisors I'm walking out the door if they don't fix this. They told me to go talk to him. I told them they were the supervisors and it was their job to do that. Not mine. I'm in an understaffed position at a job that is very difficult to fill. If I left then the rest would have gone too. They knew that. I was working at a shoe store in a mall and I requested a week in August off for my wedding. My manager told me her boss wasn't happy about that and all I said was my wedding is more important than back to school sales. They didn't fire me. Per se. They just stopped scheduling me and eventually my access to the employee website went away. Husband was having his gallbladder taken out and was having complications before surgery. I needed to leave early from work for about 2 hours and my boss threw a fit stating I couldn't leave. I told her I had 300 hours of sick time I can use for myself and my husband and if she wanted to push I'd take all of it at once. Leaving no one but her to do my job. She said she'd fire me if I tried. I just looked at her and said I have to go I'll send you my DR's note. I wasn't fired. I was actually awarded that year for job performance. Edit. I didn't take all 300 hours. I just threatened to since I was protected by FMLA. I only took the day off. I worked at Burger King as a teenager. One day. The assistant manager. Who illegally brought her teenage daughter to work to help her out. Asked me to clean the restrooms. It wasn't my normal job but I didn't mind. I had a good attitude about it and prepared to go clean the bathrooms. I walked into the men's room and discovered that the reason she asked me to do it was because someone shti all over the bathroom. Smeared fecal matter on the walls. The sink. The floor. The outside of the toilet. The toilet was clogged and hand wet. Use toilet paper inside of it and all over the room. It was a complete disaster. I walked out of the bathroom. 
went back to the kitchen and told the assistant manager I'm not cleaning that. You can fire me but I'm not cleaning it. She sighed heavily and went and got a mop. My dog became very ill quite suddenly and he needed to be put down. I was at work and I asked to leave half an hour early so I could be there for him. I asked my manager and she got annoyed and said there was no way and that I should have told her earlier. I said I'm sorry I didn't realize my dog was going to die in the most sarcastic way possible then walked away knowing she'd follow me. I then stood at my desk and typed my resignation up in front of her. She gave me the time off. No one was going to stop me from being there for my boy. Worked for a newspaper. Editing and actually putting the paper together. Arranging it all. Placing stories and pictures where they need to be. Titling. Quoting and sourcing everything. I was a one man team and used an overly complicated system that I figured out how to use really effectively. They treated me like shit. Set impossible deadlines and berated me for not meeting them. One day the boss tells me to fully put a paper done by the end of the day. Gave me no warning. I had no articles from the journalists and no photos from photographers. It was my job to collect it all from everyone and he wants me to do it in a single day? I told him no. If he wants it done. He has to give me more time. He tells me if I don't have it done by the end of the day I'm fired. I tell him that this paper can't function without me. He tells me I need to take the day off and cool my temper and that he'll do my job for me. Get a call an hour after I get home that he needs me to come in and do it and I can have as much time as I need. Promptly quit on that asshole. FCK your shitty newspaper. I've been at the company a long time. Therefore I know both day and night shift duties in and out. Are well liked by our clients and in charge of training the new recruits. Most work for us up to 6-12 months before growing tired on the workload or finding that they can't handle the job or just wanted cash enough to study up for something else. Anyway. They are heavily dependent on me. My closest boss threatened to fire me for being home one day and drinking beer when I was supposed to be at work. Two weeks prior I had agreed to do overtime but I wanted a new schedule so I would not miss it. I got a new schedule. But she had forgotten to fill in that day on it. She blamed me for it anyway and said it was grounds for terminating my contract. I dared her to do it and see how long we could stay in business. For the past few years I've worked at one of the nicer restaurants in my small beach town. I'm one of the only servers there who cares about doing a good and I'm the only one who doesn't take a smoke break every 15 minutes. This past summer a new. Very illegal. Rule was implemented that if we messed up an order in any way we would be liable to pay for that messed up food. I usually didn't have a problem with mess ups so I didn't bring up the legality of this matter since I make good money and don't want to start fires in places that don't concern me. That until I rang in a cherry glaze burger instead of a cherry glaze steak, each stylized CGB and CGS in our shitty computer system, I fixed this with the kitchen. But not before they had already started the burger. I told my manager and she just gave me a disappointed and told me that the rules are the rules. I then dived into both federal and state workers rights code and told her she would never see me again if I found any money out of my tips at the end of the night. Never had a problem fixing an order again. Used to work at a liquor store with two extremely unreliable people who love drama. Both of them got into dick measuring contests with the manager and quit on the spot. Leaving me and a skeleton crew to manage the rest of the crazy summer season. The rest of the crew spent a good portion of their shift sitting on pallets. Doing coke in the bathroom and or drinking on the job. So I was the go-to employee suddenly. Comparatively to the two drama queens. I was a very well behaved employee. But I would sometimes take my tips and pop over to the coffee shop next door while on the clock. One time I stepped back into the store right as the manager came into the other entrance. I just stood there and looked at her. She kind of shrugged helplessly. And let me do it for the rest of the summer. Working at an important political building. Been there for about a year. Other employees have been there for decades. 99% of the staff is black. Including myself. None of us have ever been written up. New manager shows up. A older white lady with a complex. And starts berating people for not doing their jobs. 
when they are very clearly doing their jobs as the job is defined. She berates people until they back talk. Then fires them for insubordination. She fires 10 out of 13 people. All black. And replaces them with white workers. She approaches me and begins berating me. I am onto what she is doing. I do not react. My lack of reaction leads her to tell me I'm being insubordinate. And I'm fired. That was my IF King dare you moment. Although I did not say it. She fired me. Six months later. She's been fired. Her supervisor is fired. And his supervisor has been demoted to the worst position a supervisor can have. A lawsuit has been filed that resulted in about $100.000 and damages to the victims. Bet she won't do that shti again. Worked for Radio Shack and always butted heads with the district manager. He wanted me to use these ridiculous sales techniques that might work in a big city but were really pushy. The year he became our DM I won a contest for best salesman in the whole company. Out of about 14. 000 employees. And I did it without being pushy and forcing stuff on people. He still tried to get me to use these ridiculous techniques each month when he would visit. But after I won the contest I stopped sugarcoating it and would flat out tell him that's stupid. I'm not going to do it that way. I'm an electrician. Boss son said my clothes are too dirty to wear to work. Told him these clothes were clean when I first wore them to work told him buy me new 1s or fire me. That was a year ago. Still wearing the same PVC glue stained clothes to work. First kitchen I worked in. They told me. The more jobs I learned. The more I'd get paid, came in basically knowing all of it anyway. Six months later I had learned every job there except one spot. They told me if I learned that spot. I'd get a raise. I told them I could find a new kitchen. I was easily one of the best employees there. And that I was told the more I learned the more I'd get paid. And I still hadn't been given a raise. Head chef cracked and gave me a raise. I told him 50 cents wasn't enough. He was forced to give me another. Two weeks after that. They fired the banquet chef's assistant. We had a lot of 300 plus people events. And told him to pick his new assistant. He immediately requested me. I told them I needed another raise. I was told no again. Again I said I'll find a new job. Came in the next day and put my two weeks in. Yup. Found a job that quick. Wound up making more money in that kitchen than anyone beside the banquet chef and the head chef. That's how I wound up getting three raises in a month. I'm a speech therapist. I work in a skilled nursing facility. For the most part. They all suck. This is no exception. But the place I used to work. The boss was a scumbag. To the extent that the entire rehab staff signed a letter asking to get him fired. He was basically forced out. I eventually left. And came to my current job. I swung by the rehab gym and. Saw his ass sitting in my current boss's office. I kind of froze in shock. I thought he was interviewing for a job there. So I went to the boss at the time and told her flat out that if he got hired. I was walking out immediately. She got a stunned look on her face. And quickly assured me that he wasn't working there. That was my first time drawing a line in the sand like that. I was 17 and working part time at a fast food restaurant. Someone wrecked the men's restroom. Shat in the urinal. Rubbed tea all over the wall. The manager came out and told me to clean it. I refused. She threatened to fire me. To which I laughed in her face and told her you can clean it yourself or you can lose an employee and still clean it yourself. I don't need this job. Double quote. Needless to say. I wasn't fired and I didn't clean that up. I still laugh thinking about it. Openly typing up replies to reddit posts with boss standing behind me. It's amazing what you can get away with by just making eye contact and staring them down. I posted the story on another ask reddit about calling my manager a CNT and walking out. Her higher up called me in and I decided to at least give my side of the story the next day. It became evident she didn't care much so I told them it didn't matter and I quit anyway. In the best reversal of a classic movie line the supervisor said you can't quit because you're fired. 
literally as I was walking out. I was the warehouse delivery manager for a furniture company about 15 years ago. All of us delivery warehouse workers smoked weed except one guy and he was a pot Nazi. We all knew this so we kept it fairly well hidden from him. One day he smelled weed in the truck and told the store manager. The store manager called me to his office and asked what I thought would happen if he drug tested all of us. I told him he'd have one guy left working for him. Needless to say he didn't drug test us and that narc quit not long after. I was one out of three dishwashers for a hotel plus restaurant. So there was a lot of work for us. One of the guys never did any work. And the other guy only worked early morning shifts as he had multiple jobs. I finished all my duties. Walked outside for a smoke break. Manager of the restaurant area came out and threatened to fire me if I didn't go back inside right then and finish the dishes. I told him what his predicament would be if he fired me. He stormed off. Came back in 10 minutes later and there were maybe 3 dishes to do. And I was the only one working then so there was no way another dishwasher did them. I have a couple stories about this guy. Most from other people's experience while working for him. I was working in the service industry and one of my customers ordered something that had since been reworked on the menu. I could tell he didn't like it but didn't want to complain. I told my manager exactly that and she got mad at me because he didn't actually complain. She yelled at me about how I couldn't know what he was thinking. So I asked her to just go talk to the guy and if I was wrong she could fire me. You'll never guess exactly what the guy said to her. She didn't look me in the eye for over a month. This was the second time something like this happened with her. I brought a powerpoint into my last job's performance review that basically ended with I know how much I'm worth. Either pay me more shti or find some other asshole to do all of the work of 5 people. I intended for it to come of as a half joke because me and my boss were pals but he thought it made sense so he fought to get me a raise. I worked for a printing company. Most of an entire branch of production hinges off my area. I regularly did everything asked of me and above. Each year they'd pile on more with a promise of a raise. Four years went by and no raise. I put my foot down and said I'd need a raise to make up for the last four years. No back pay no nothing. Just the raise. And if the answer was no. Then consider it my two weeks notice. They denied the raise and I left two weeks later. Within the year the entire department went under and two years later the company went out of business. I feel bad for the other workers that lost their source of income. But the owner can go fck himself. Worked for a company that measured your dependability. Some ratio of how much you were out of office planned versus. Unplanned. I had been with the firm for about 3 months and get called into my manager's office. They have the policy up on the screen and present it to me like it is a life threatening issue. I reply look. I have two children under the age of 5. Stuff happens beyond my control. I don't really care about some antiquated policy that should be used to measure machines not people. In addition. I'm here because I want to. Not because I need to. But thanks for letting me know about this policy. I feel better knowing. Manager looks at me and just goes okay then. Double quote. Company got rid of the policy two months later. My co-worker about a year ago. He worked the pizza station at our restaurant. And was a good worker. He was just about the only one left that rolled and made good pizza. But he was a huge stoner and always showed up high. My sous chef always thought he was doing lower quality work than everyone else because of appearances with that. But he was a great worker. One day he had forgotten to wrap some pizzas and they spoiled. And my boss really felt like going off. He yelled at him for a long time and then told him he was fired. My co-worker just looked him in the face and said you can't even fire me and just kept working for the rest of his shift. The next day. Sous chef walks up with his boss. Our department head. She listens to the entire story. Says to remember to wrap the pizzas. And walks away. I thought it was the funniest shti because if he'd accepted it and just gone home. He'd have definitely stayed fired. He just said no to getting fired and worked another year there. Boss promised me a raise for October. 
when I brought it up before payday he denied having doing so. And also told me he is not getting his money's worth out of the work I do. Told him he doesn't pay me enough for it to be worth my time and gave notice. Not a great story but. I had put in for my last day, sous chef, a whole month in advance. And my last day was here. That was when the owner decided to ask me to work longer until he found someone else. I agreed. I was to leave at 10. 0, zero. And both bosses said that was fine. 10 comes around. I'm literally walking out the door. And they both start yelling at me for being inconsiderate and leaving a huge mess. I absolutely did not, and threatened to fire me saying this is unacceptable. I'm not okay with this. This can't happen again and so on. I just laughed and left and didn't come back. Get out of here bro. I was one of two employees at a place and they were refusing to hire more while lying to us and saying no one was applying. My place and the attached coffee shop was run by the same company. So there was one manager for both. I told a bunch of people from the coffee shop that I had a job interview and if I got it I wasn't doing my two weeks. Word got around to the manager and he yelled at me for it after I yelled at him for saying my co-worker would be working with me when he wasn't. Basically my last month at that job was talking back to him because I knew he couldn't do shti about it. Got told I could not discuss my pay rise with other employees. I said I was going to regardless of what she said. When my boss was saying I had a poor work ethic and that I don't do more than is expected when I am the acting as the counterweight keeping him from falling off the side of a four story building. Edit. He threatened to fire me as he was hanging off the side. I used to work as a bartender part time after college and before law school as a side income while doing other gigs. We made a lot of money by selling wine on commission. This was Japan. And being bilingual I probably sold 5-6 times more than my Japanese co-workers. As I was applying for law schools I wanted to take a month off to visit them in the states. I was planning on a month long vacation law school tour and asked for the month off. The bar told me that they would be understaffed and they will have to fire me if I left. Being that it's my future law school I told them fine. Fire me. The day after I came back from the states I got a call from my manager asking if I had any shift requests for the month. 